Hey, this is Heather, and you're watching r and TV, and I am here on the Stillborn Fest Tour with Jay from Die Will Be Done. How's the tour going so far? So far, so good. Can't complain. Hanging out at Jack's, always a good time, so I'm excited. Now, you're you're supporting, um, this tour supporting your CD that's out. What's the name of that? Uh, In Ancient of Days. It's out on Stillborn Records, and uh, this is the Stillborn Fest, so it's only fitting. <laughs> so, yeah, we're excited. How long have you guys all been together? Uh, you know what? It's kind of a fun question. Only because the band has been a band for like 10 years with like a revolving door of lineup changes. Um, I'm the only original member now just because a lot of guys couldn't tour. They wanted to tour, but then they realized there's a lot of hard work involved. So um, one form or another, 10 years. But I mean, um, you know, we've only really the first record only came out in the end of 2007. So that's when we really started touring heavily. Uh, everything's still pretty much DIY and we, we still do it all ourselves. I know that you guys, have you guys been overseas yet for tour? Yeah, we did uh, We did Japan last year and uh, our record came out in Japan and then uh, this year we just did uh, a month in Europe which was great. We went over there with uh, Earth Crisis and uh, Sworn Enemy. It was a great time. So. And how long are you normally on tour for a year? Wow, um, it varies. I mean, it really depends. I mean, if it's a cycle of a record, we try and stay out as much as we can. You know, if it's 300 days, then we do 300 days, you know. Uh, you know, we try and have some time at home, you know, try and work our jobs and save up some money um, and, and do our thing so we can be able to do this on the road as much as we can. So Now, with your new CD that's out, you don't have any videos, but if you were to have one of them, a video, which <laughs> song would it be? I mean, I think the fan favorite right now for uh, for the new album is uh, number four, yeah, and Fire <laughs> Will Fall. I mean, they've been spinning that. It's actually right now currently, uh, I think, nine weeks strong on Sirius XM's Devil's Dozen, which we're pretty pumped about, so thank you very much. And, um, you know, I think in Fire Will Fall would probably be the, the video that would come out next. Um, but right now, uh, we've got a video for uh, Earth's Final Embrace, and uh, a lot of people dig it, so trying to try to just uh, spread the word about it <laughs> yeah and that's the video clip we got it's from and what was that cd called was and is to come and uh that was our uh, debut album so the video didn't come out until after the record had been out now for like a year or something and then we released the video so you know hey what can we say you know we're not on a major label I mean, come on give us a break <laughs> how long have you guys been out on this tour and i know that you have a tour coming with devil driver yeah. when does that going to start this tour, actually, we're only on day number two on this tour. Um, it's a pretty short run uh, right after the holidays. Then we're home for two days, and then we drive out to California, straight from Rhode Island out to California. It's 3,000 miles. Good times. And uh, we're going to be starting that tour. It's us, Goat Whore, Suffocation, and Devil Driver. So we're pretty excited about that. Three of our favorite bands we get to share the stage with, and we're pumped. So that's uh, January and February of uh, 2010. So Can you tell me how long, you know, you all have been started doing this do you play any other instruments and Absolutely. where did you guys meet well um actually it's it, chris has actually uh, been with us now for wow it's i think it's going on it feels like 50 years uh but no <laughs> no in all honesty no he's been with us since right when the first record came out so th that was the like the, the fortunate part was we finally had someone that was in the band that like could identify with where we wanted to go with the music but it was also somebody who was in the band that could tour because um the original lead guitar player for the first album when it came time for touring and stuff he just he was like, I can't do it. So Chris stepped in, and I mean, we started writing from day one for the next record, and the first record wasn't even out yet. So um, this new record in Ancient of Days came out June 30th, and um, that's that's the first record with Chris, and um, it's also, um, I, I think, it's, it's the most complete record uh, so far to date. So I mean, just, you know, trying to find the right people who understand where we're coming from, you know. For us, it's not necessarily about, like, having a specific genre that we want to fit. It's about writing music that we love. I mean, we listen to everything from, like, the Allman Brothers to Tool to, you know, Old Metallica, Testament, Slayer, Death. I mean, we listen to everything. And then, of course, you know, you hear your, your more modern metal bands, you know, like, from Pantera to Lamb of God to, you know, the Sepultura, you know. And then we also listen to everything, like, Down and Caius. So we try and mix it all together and just make music that's, you know, people can describe as just... I will be done. Well, good times. You guys still have the red tent along with the van? Oh, uh, what's that? You still have the red tent along with the van oh, or yeah. the red tent died? Yeah, no, we have a red tent. It's a pop-up tent. That's the party <laughs> tent. So if it's raining or even if it's not, we bring the party to every city. Uh -huh. You know, we just pop the tent and go. That's it. Yeah, you know, we set it and forget it. It's good. I like it. <laughs> well, I pretty much know almost all the lyrics, but just to throw it out there for everybody else, there is a pretty positive message that's in there. Do you want to talk a little bit about the message that you have? Um, yeah, I mean, 
our, our, our music's heavy, it's aggressive, but um, the message is definitely a positive one. Um, it's about taking, you know, it's for all walks of life, not just for one walk of life, it's for everyone. I want someone to be able to listen to the music and any walk of life to be able to identify with it. And it's about finding hope in that darkness, trying to find that, that shard of hope left just when you feel like you've, you've reached your, your bottom, just like there's nowhere else to go. I remember what music did for me growing up and what music still does for me when I hear a song or I, I hear an artist that really gives me hope and says, hey, you know, find that positive. And, and if we can carry that torch for someone, then that's what we're going to do. You know, there's also there's songs for you to think, songs for you to look at something maybe a little differently, a little different perspective on stuff. So it's definitely about self-empowerment and making the best of every situation, you know, and just trying to better the world, but first by bettering yourself. Okay, well, I really appreciate you coming out. And how many, how long a time do you get to play tonight? Uh, we'll be doing 30-minute set tonight, uh, the whole Stillborn Fest, and uh, I believe we have a 30-minute set on the Devil Driver Tour as well, so. Well, thanks a lot. And this is Heather, and this is Jay from I Will Be Done and RNR TV.